Okay, this video will help you check your answer for the mole module for some of the trickier questions presented in the mole module. So the first one we're going to go through is question number 10. So question number 10 asks you, uh, how many molecules are present in 2.3 moles of CH2O. Okay, so this is how we would answer this question. Because it's asking for how many molecules, we know we're looking for big N. Okay, and if we look at our formula sheet, we know number of particles is the number of moles times Avogadro's number. So in this case, we have 2.3 moles, and we're multiplying this by 6.02 times 10 to the 23. Uh, and because it's CH2O, those are all nonmetals. We're, de we're dealing with a molecule, so our units is going to be molecules per mole. Okay. If we put that into our calculator, what we're going to get is 1.3846 times 10 to the 24 molecules. That's one of our sim more simple questions, but we're going to use this number to help us in question 11. Question 11 says. Calculate the number of atoms and of each type given in question number 10. Okay, so what this is asking us is how many carbon do we have? How many hydrogen do we have and how many oxygen do we have okay so what's convenient is we already know that our number of CH2O is 1.3846 times 10 to the 24 molecules because we answered that in the previous question okay so now we need to convert that into number of carbon number of hydrogen number of oxygen so we're going to use that formula we learned to convert values so for example, we're gonna start off with how many carbon do we have? Okay, this is what we want to figure out. So we don't know how many carbon we have, but we do know how many CH2Os we have. So we need to multiply that by how many carbon we have in one CH2O. Okay, this is gonna get rid of our CH2O units. Okay, so what we're gonna do is put in 1.3846 times 10 to the 24 CH2Os. And we're gonna multiply that by the fact we only have one carbon and any one CH2O. So that's just multiplying it by one. So our answer is gonna be the same. Okay. We'll do the same thing for oxygen. So same thing here, we're going to take our number of what we know and we're going to multiply it by the number of oxygen we have in any one CH2O and we're going to see this is going to be the same number as well because again we're multiplying it by only one oxygen in any one CH2O. Those units cancel out, we're left with oxygen atoms. Okay, because there's only one of these and one of these, so that makes sense. The last one, we're going to use the same formula, but this time we're looking at how many hydrogen we have in any one CH2O, and this time we have two hydrogen. So we're going to multiply this by two hydrogen in every one CH2O. So 2 over 1 is the same thing as multiplying it by 2. So if you put that in your calculator, what you'll get is 2.77 times 10 to the 24 hydrogen atoms. Okay? So we can use these conver this conversion formula, okay, for moles or for number of particles. So big N or little n. Okay. 
The next problem we're going to go through is question number 12. Okay. 12 asks you to determine the mass of nitrogen in ammonium nitrate. Okay. Uh, and we also know we have exactly 20 grams of ammonium nitrate. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is figure out our moles of ammonium nitrate. So we know that's going to be mass divided by molar mass. Our mass is given to us in our question, it's 20 grams. And we can figure out our molar mass because we know the formula of ammonium nitrate. So the molar mass of ammonium nitrate is going to be the molar mass of nitrogen multiplied by 2 because we have one here and one here plus the molar mass of hydrogen that's going to be times 4 because we have 4 there and 3 times the molar mass of oxygen okay so that's going to be 2 times 14.01 uh, grams per mole that's the number we look up on the periodic table 4 times 1.01 .01 grams per mole. Again, we look that up on the periodic table. And 3 times 16 grams per mole. If we add that all up, you get 80.06 grams per mole. So I'm going to use this number and plug it in my equation over here. So 80.06 grams per mole. And that's going to give me 0.2498126 moles. You may say, Miss Hoover, that's a crazy amount of decimals. But because we're using this to do a, a secondary calculation, we want to keep all those decimals so we don't lose any um, detail in our answer. Okay? If you round too much, your answer is going to be way far off by the time we get to the end. So, just like I said before, we can convert number of particles like we did in the previous question, big N. Using that conversion formula, we can also convert moles using that formula. So we're going to do the same thing. We want to figure out moles of nitrogen, but we only know moles of ammonium nitrate. So we're going to multiply that by how many nitrogen we have in any one NH4, NO3. Okay, so we know we have 0 0.2498126 moles of NH4, NO3. And we're going to multiply that by the fact we have two nitrogen in any one NH4 and O3. So we're going to have twice as many moles of nitrogen as we have of ammonium nitrate. So that works out to be 0 0.4996252812812 moles. Okay. Now that we know moles of nitrogen, we can figure out our mass of nitrogen because we know mole, mass is moles times molar mass. We just figured out moles. And again, we're keeping all those decimal places because we don't want our answer to be too rounded. We're going to multiply that by the molar mass of just nitrogen off the periodic table. And we're going to get 7 grams. So that's my final mass. The last question we're going to go through is number 22, which says, what is the mass of 10 um, aluminum atoms? Okay, there's two ways to do this. I'm going to show you the easier way. The easiest way is we know that we have a formula for the mass of one atom. Okay, We know that formula is if we take the molar mass and divide it by Avogadro's number, we'll get the mass of what one atom weighs. So if we look up the mass of aluminum on the periodic table, it is 14.01 um, grams per mole. And we know that there's 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms in every mole. So if you divide that through, you get 4.48 times 10 to the negative 23 grams. Well, if this is the mass of one atom, to get the mass of 10 atoms, 
we would just take the mass of one atom and times it by 10. So that's going to be 4.48 times 10 to the negative 23 grams. So we would end up with times 10. We would say that that would equal 4.48 times 10 to the negative 22 grams. That would be the mass of 10 atoms. The way that I've seen some people do it, it is correct, but it's going to take you longer. If some students have said, well, I need to know how many moles of aluminum I have by taking the number of atoms I have and dividing it by Avogadro's number. Um, so they're saying, well, I have 10 atoms, and I want to divide that by how many atoms I have in a mole. So I'm going to get a very, very, very small mole amount, which is 1.66112956 times 10 to the negative 23 moles. Okay. And then they said, now that I have a mole, I can figure out mass by saying moles times molar mass, which is going to be 1.66112956 times 10 to the negative 23 moles uh, times by 26.98 grams per mole, which should also give you that same number, 4.48 times 10 to the negative 22 grams. It just took you a couple extra steps. So hopefully this helps make the mole module make more sense. If you have any other questions, come see me at lunch or after school.